What is going on guys? So welcome back to another episode of the Odyssey series. We have an exciting day today. We actually got the samples in that I was telling you about in the last vlog or two vlogs ago about um, the samples that we tried out. So they're two hoodies, one's black, one's white, um, one's embroidered, one's print on it. So like your classic, like what this is, has print on it. And uh, the other one's stitched on, so it's a little more premium. And so I'm just gonna run you through and just kind of show you what we're gonna change, what we're gonna fix and how we're gonna make it better. So this is the first one. I call it the Yachty because all I want is a yacht, and if you know that that is a line from a uh, a St. John song, it's a, uh, a great song. But uh, so the big problem here is if you zoom out, this is a large uh, on a Gildan, so it's a little bit cheaper. But I actually like the feeling better than the more expensive one over there, and we'll get to that in a second. But so what we got to change is obviously the text is super small. Um, this the 11s only is going to go on the top, and then the uh, 11s only diamond is going to go on the bottom. And so that's the biggest changes because if you look, it's it's kind of far and kind of small. We actually have 11 in Roman numerals here on the left sleeve. And so we're gonna change that to say 11s with the 11s diamond on it, just on the left sleeve. So um, whether you're holding your camera, however it is, it's kind of placed there so you see it and read it. And then, um, yeah, so that's the biggest thing. Get the get image a little bigger, get the text a little bit bigger so you can read it, and then have to decide on the hoodie material if I want it to be this Gildan or if I want it to be um, the Cotton Heritage one over here. And so here's the second one. I really like it. This is embroidery, so that one over there, that's the back of the shirt. That is uh, all uh, printed on, like I was saying earlier. This is embroidery, so this is stitched, so it's a little, if you can tell, it's a little more constructed. Um, and this is the more expensive hoodie. This is one that you can change out the tag. I didn't on the samples just because it was extra money and there was no point. But yeah, so this one's white. This one tapers a little bit down here. So it, it it's a little thinner of a fit as opposed to that baggy fit. But I've been wearing them. I'm going to wear them to the gym. I'm going to wear them around and just wash them a couple times to kind of see how they perform. And then once I see how they perform, I can kind of gauge and tell which one I want to use. Like I said, I like the premium one. It fits a little bit better. Um, it's a little bit thicker, a little bit softer, but at the same time, I like the Gildan. The problem is it's just a little bit cheaper of a brand, and I think it'll shrink over time, which I really don't want. I want these things to last. I want them to be high quality. So yeah, we're gonna have a couple more products. I don't have samples of those yet, but this is the initial first sample. Um, I'm trying to get everything launched here within the next month. That's the end goal. I gotta start working on the website, but we're almost done with all the designs. Um, these samples turn out really well. I'm, I'm happy with them, and I'm happy that um, they came so fast. So I wanted to test out the shipping too and just kind of get an idea for their product. So this is the first one. It has the 11s only on the front and it was supposed to be white, but it kind of came out gray. Uh, I like the way it looks. It's more of a silver kind of vibe to it. And like I said, this is the Gildan. So it's a little bit baggier around the corners, around the sides right here. And uh, I just like how it feels. A lot of the hoodies that you have that you've bought that are from merchandise companies are just printed on like clothing from um, sports team stuff like that is all gilded because it's really cheap and easy to produce But I like the feeling of it. I like these strings better than the flat ones on this white one But yeah, so this is the uh, there's that 11 like I said This is on our hats as well But I think with the sleeve it'll kind of stand out more and give it more of that kind of sporty feel that I want to give And then this is the back Like I said, you could probably tell that we need to change We need to change the size on the font just so you can read it from afar And so let me try on the other one right now so this is the second one. Like I said, it's all embroidered. There's nothing on the sleeve and nothing on the back. It is just your embroidered classic. I like the white on white. We're gonna make it a little bit bigger just so the black outline, you can see it more from a distance and uh, just keep the embroidery. I like this one, like I said. This hoodie is the more expensive one. It's a little bit softer, but uh, it's tapered kind of around the waist. So that's kind of something we have to play into. And another good thing I do like about it is you have a bigger gap from your chin down to your neck where you can kind of, where your head hangs. Like I said, the biggest complaint is I like the sort of boxier feel, but I think a lot of people will enjoy the, the quality better. And so I think we're probably gonna end up going with this for both of them. And then just these, I, I hate these strings because they're flat. I like the round ones that are braided. So that's kind of my thinking. And these are the first initial samples. Um, so it's an exciting time. So a quick update. Um, here is the website as of right now. As you can see, it's kind of a, uh, a blank, where's my mouse, there it is. Blank template. But uh, yeah, this is the beginning stages. This is what it looks like now. And uh, I'm gonna work on it for the next couple of weeks and we're gonna see, uh, see what we can get out of it. I'm super excited. Like I said, I built one before, but now that I have more of the tools and more of the knowledge of how to do it, it should be, uh, should be a lot more interesting this time. But yeah, this is the beginning stages. This is step one of uh, creating the website. I showed you last night 
what I was working on with the website and I just kind of wanted to give you an update on that because it started off a little bland. Um, so this is what we have so far. So this is all just sliders and stuff on the side. But if you see, let's go to full screen here. You see, got the logo and then as you come down, there'll be, so in this launch, there'll be hats, sweatshirts, and t-shirts. And uh, that's really it. I want to get a lot of photos with the products. I just have to order them first um, and then get them all sorted out. And like I said, take photos with them, do photo shoots. But before that, I wanted to make sure that we had a, just kind of a, a rough overview, a rough template. And thankfully, um, things like the domain name and stuff like that is all offered through Shopify. So I can do it through there. I don't have to use a third party app like GoDaddy um, or some of the other ones. I think Gator was one that I used to use way back in the day for uh, getting domain names. And if you don't know what a domain name is, it's just like your www.whatever.com. And so you can do a bunch of them. .com is the most expensive normally just because it's the most trusted. Whenever you hear .com as opposed to .co or .la or .whatever it is, whenever you see .com, you can trust a little bit more. So that's sort of the thought process with that. But yeah, it's coming along. That's all been just one night of working on it and uh, YouTubing videos and trying to figure out what uh, the best possible setup is. And that's just what we're working through right now. All right, so just got finished up working on the website stuff. Some of the stuff you saw, some of it you haven't seen yet. I'm keeping that um, for a little bit later for a little bit more of a surprise. Got dressed up. We have a uh, going away dinner for my buddy who's moving to a different city. He got a good job and uh, he'll be traveling a lot back and forth. So we wanted to have a dinner. Wish him well, wish him the best. It's super exciting that, uh, that people are, are getting the goals that they want and, and going after it. So we're going out to dinner. We're going to go uh, celebrate him and his new job and uh, we'll just go along for the ride. Yeah, he's like, come <laughs> like, say hey. <laughs> Doors close at nine, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've had a pretty eventful day. If you can see, I'm uh, sitting here at the computer filling out a bunch of applications. Um, everywhere in South Florida is kind of where I'm looking, but a um, bunch of different places, financial advisor stuff, recruiting stuff, um, management stuff, anything along those lines is kind of what I'm applying to, trying to get experience. If you know, if you're looking for jobs right now, you know it's pretty tough. And a lot of times entry level jobs aren't quite entry level. They, they want a master's or they want, um, uh, upper level exams, things like that, qualifications, licenses. So I'm just shooting it off. See how much I can, uh, see how much I can get done. See how much I can get through. And um, and then yeah, we should be going out tonight with the boys. I know a couple people are in town, and from there we'll just see where the night goes. And in other news, if you couldn't tell, uh, the camera's a little bit further away. I actually got one of those Gorilla Pods with the articulating arms in it, so I can get the camera a little further away, which helps with this 24 millimeter wide angle lens, so I can get a little more distant, so it's not so close to my face. But uh, yeah, getting some improvements here with the uh, with the camera rig.